This is St Pancras Hospital and it's lifts all the time. This is a real nice old fashioned looking hospital. And now we go to the first lift, which is a generic. But we don't have to bother with this shit because next to it there is an epic old gated lift. Sadly it's been modded, but it's still really nice. Let's ride it. Go along to the next building and along to the next lift which is a nice swing door lift sadly it's been ruined through modernization i don't know what sort of lift this was originally Next lift, which is another swing door lift, which has also been ruined through modernization. Please mind the doors. Doors closing. Going up. to the next building and to the next lift which has been completely ruined it's now just a modern generic oh dear 
And now, let's take a look around. There's some really interesting features to this hostel. This hostel looks very old-fashioned. It very much reminds me of All Saints. Just look at these classic sort of 1850s style hostel buildings. Really nice. And over here we have this weird water tower. And now we go along to the next lift, which is an abandoned Aldous and Campbell lift. Now, Aldous and Campbell are incredibly rare. Even finding an abandoned one is rare. It's like the entire company's like pretty much been removed from history. Aldous and Campbell started off in somewhere in the 1800s and they were originally a company that made not lifts but cranes. In the early 1900s, they moved into lifts and very little is known about them. They're one of the most elusive lift companies there is. There's like information about them is pretty much non-existent. And since information about loads of other lift companies has come to light over the last few years, leaving Aldous and Campbell as one of the least known about lift companies there is really. And they've pretty much been removed from history because they installed a load of train station lifts around the 1930s and these have all gone. They've all been replaced by those horrible, nasty standards. There's a lift in Guy's Hostel which possibly could be in Aldous and Campbell, although it has been heavily modernised. But nevertheless, it's still a very epic lift. It has three sets of gated doors on it. It's a really nice lift. I don't know if it definitely is an Aldous and Campbell or not. Um, other than that, I know of no other working Aldous and Campbell lifts. If any of you know of an Aldous and Campbell lift, please tell me because I really, really, really want to go in one. And now, we now go out of the hostel and to some student accommodation nearby and into the eco discs there. First we are into an eco disc that goes from the ground floor entrance up to sort of the first floor podium level where you change to other lifts that go up to the different student accommodation. It's an eco disc at a student accommodation podium. That's what eco disc will look like. We really like this lift. And now we got into student accommodation, lift A. It's an eco disc at the student accommodation block one. That's what it looks for students like the lifts. And now we go along to student accommodation block B, which is the only secure accommodation block. Because you can actually walk into this building without being challenged at all. You can walk into all the other blocks and right into a lift and there's no locking door at all. The only locking door I've come across in this whole building is lift block B. So now we go on to lift block C and D and into the lift there, which is another eco disc. It's another eco disc. It's at student accommodation blocks 3 and 4. Beware, there is an alarm outside the lift. Thank uh -huh. 